new game. We're gonna do Leon. But uh, yeah, what's up everybody? Why do you buy me here again? We're gonna continue our Let's Play series with Resident Evil 2 Remake. And this is gonna be a long endurance stream. So if you're watching this on Twitch, it should be going on for about six, maybe four to, four to six hours, I wanna say. So we're gonna do Leon S. Kennedy and then Claire Redfield second. So here we go, standard. What's up, Phoenix? Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar. And this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to teeth in the middle. I should have got somebody. Oh, come on. Just getting good. around that's weird here we go boys you know what, before we go in there, we always got to go over to this amazing work of art. Raccoon City District. Welcome to Raccoon City, baby. Home of Umbrella. Which, if you saw Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, sign pretty much looks verbatim, but it says, fuck, fuck um, Umbrella. It's like spray painted onto it. It's nice. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Something's not right. Oh boy. Right? Don't move. Yeah, lay yeah, Leon. He's all right. He has. He just has a hole in his neck. He's all right. Stop moving, officer. You need help. Stay back, sir. I got this. Free! 
Still don't know what the heck you ripped out right there, buddy. Is that his stomach? From his neck? It's probably like the easiest zombie to evade in the entire game. I think he's scripted to just walk that way. Thing the officer left his keys in the car. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. Too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Here we go, baby. This game is so freaking fun. So we're going to be here for a while. Make sure I got my cheat sheet ready. And we're actually going to get the shotgun with Leon this time. I didn't get the shotgun last time. And because of that, the sewer section was a nightmare. Resident Evil 2, baby. Let's get it. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone who needs it. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to What's be up, Ryder? How's it going? Playing one of the best Resident Evil games. This remake is really good. Man, I wish RE3 was as good as this. Not saying this one is perfect because last time I said this game was good and people are like, oh, you think RE2 Remake is perfect? I never said it was perfect. I said it's good. I like it. <laughs> never said it was perfect. Like yeah, good call. I just twist the words. Oh, now the zombies go under the truck. Like that first zombie he hit was like freaking nearly on the windshield. Somehow. <laughs> like did the zombie just like jump last second? The zombie was so high up on the grill. Oh, 
I think this remake is coming up to be one of my most played games. My most played remakes out of the remakes that we have with the RE series. Claire! Claire, you okay? And the RE3 is like the lowest. Like RE3 remake, I think only beat it like four times. Probably got like 12 hours in that game. Can't stay here, it's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Let's get the hell out of here. This is out of control. Bye. It's everybody. They've all turned. There it is. The station. Still wish they use like more neutral words instead of like zombie and turned and shit. They say they're like sick or something like that. Make the game a little bit less campy. That's just me. Here's where the fun begins. Let's see how fast we can finish the RPD. Hello? Is it anybody here? And we're not lagging like we were. Yeah, we're pretty solid with FPS. There has to be someone here. Freaking last couple of streams we did were just so laggy. Because I forgot my OBS wasn't running. An administrator. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. Straight to the button. Now let's use the quick turning this time. I don't really use the quick turning. Kind of just like dodge the zombie and then slow, slow run around. It's probably my favorite side of the RPD because this area has such a story to tell. Just looking at it, you can just tell what the heck happened. You can assume how bad it was. Just exploring all of this area. So yeah, obviously this side was used as a shelter. If somebody dropped the soap. And RE3 is pretty much this entire side of the RPD. Like RE3 tells a lot of the story through the environment, which is, I really like that. Oh, there goes your dick. Hey, what's up? What's up, Nero? What's up? I haven't seen you stream in a long time. We're back to being bald. It's prob probably going to be my permanent thing. So this zombie dodge up here, hopefully I can, I mean, I've done this three times in a row, so hopefully, hopefully this time it doesn't mess up. No, we got it again. Got it. 
What's up, Darth? Or Death? I don't know why he keeps calling you Darth. <laughs> What's up, Death? Swordsman. Thanks. Marvin Brown. No lag today. We, we're high frame rate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. <clears throat> this is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Anything. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Man's about to kill over. Oh, I didn't even take the knife. <laughs> but yeah, the freaking RE fans are wild right now, especially since the new Resident Evil movie. Like, I understand not, not, a, not, a, not a lot of people like it. But the actors are getting like death threats and stuff. It's freaking ridiculous. This is not and it's been a hot topic for a while on Reddit and Twitter. Man, this is so nice. And you come to this area again in RE3, there's no ambient noises or anything. It's just, there's not, it's silent. No wind blowing. You don't hear none of that stuff. Bye, buddy. Oh, God. Nice turn. Never Shit. lucky. Never lucky. I don't know why I'm going that way. Wanna just pop some heads. Yeah, they're hella toxic. Actually no. Just go back this way. What in the Was the big guy? Ah, uh, isn't this Ned? I think the Leon voice actor he disabled his freaking Instagram, and Jill she disabled her comments.
I don't, I don't, I don't play a game and go. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Yeah, I was actually looking forward to the Ari movie. Like I had like. Yes. I knew she. Had a feeling it would be like decent. I was going, I was going in like a. Yeah. I was going in open minded. I came into town with her. And I watched it. I thought it was okay. Through the second floor. It's like a six. Six out of ten for me. Six. Just straight up, just flat six. Solid six. Thanks, Lieutenant. I watched it about five times now. I keep rewatching it with friends. I don't hate it. Pacing is atrocious. <laughs> The pacing is absolutely atrocious. If it focused on just Raccoon City or the mansion, it would have been significantly better. It had potential to be so much better. He disabled his Instagram. <laughs> 